Welcome to this tutorial on Proton NMR. This is going to be about chemical shift and the regions of the spectrum. Uh, the position of a peak within a spectrum is called the chemical shift and indicates the electron density around the hydrogen atoms. We can divide the spectrum loosely into five different areas and uh, the electron density around the hydrogen atoms depends upon the other atoms nearby. So in the case of uh, alkyl groups, simple hydrocarbon structures, the peaks tend to lie in the regions from uh, 0 to 3. Note that the uh, scale runs backwards. But if there is an oxygen atom nearby, then this will draw some electron density away from the carbons and hydrogens because it's more electronegative. And uh, so therefore the hydrogen atoms will have become slightly de-shielded. And so their nucleus will be slightly more exposed to the magnetic field. And uh, the resonance that we'll see will be at a slightly higher frequency here between 3 and 4.5. In the case of alkenes, then the uh, pi bond is in a different plane to the CH bond and provides no shielding at all. So that's higher between 4.5 and 6.5. In a uh, benzene ring, we see an even higher shift between 6.5 and 8.5. And for aldehyde protons, because of the strong dipole, the delta uh, plus on carbon, delta minus on uh, oxygen that draws a lot of electron density away from the uh, hydrogen and we have a peak between 8.5 and 10.5. So looking at the structure uh, for this molecule we can see that there's two peaks. We've been given the uh, formula of the molecule but not the structure. Looking at the regions we could say that this peak is uh, within the 10.5 to 8.5 range and so it uh, could be an aldehyde hydrogen, whereas this one's at the, the high end of the alkyl group, uh, just a CH3 group, that, that could be. And here is the actual structure. And so this hydrogen here is giving rise to this peak, whereas uh, these hydrogens here are giving rise to uh, that peak there. So uh, this uh, spectrum shows peaks in the region from uh, 6.5 to 8.5 in uh, this region here. And that corresponds to the uh, phenyl re region or a benzene ring. And we could say that the number of hydrogens here are all bonded to a benzene ring. Integration will tell you actually that that corresponds to the whole group there, corresponds to five hydrogens and this one here corresponds to one. And the actual structure is a phenol, so the five hydrogens are the five hydrogens around the benzene ring, and uh, that hydrogen is the hydroxide one, which is uh, found at this peak here. It's worth pointing out that uh, proton NMR is not very good at determining OH hydrogens. Uh, the peaks can occur within a very wide range. Uh, sometimes they're not seen at all, and this is because uh, they can uh, hydrogen bond with the solvent and exchange with the solvent. So I could have chosen other molecules with different functional groups, uh, such as ethers uh, or uh, alkenes, but the principle would remain the same. Look where the chemical shift lies within these regions, and that will give you an indication of what functional groups you've got. Okay, next I'll talk about coupling.